Land ho! We've come to a stop a while ago. I believe we've fully anchored and the tenders are getting ready to come get us for Great Stirrup Key. Good morning. Very early morning. <laughs> Welcome to the six o'clock hour. Yeah. Um, tendering starts at seven ish. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna grab some breakfast and prepare for our day. Yeah, it's cold out there. That's why I'm wearing a jacket. Uh, we're I'm not ready for this water. I don't mm, think. <laughs> yeah, early early morning <laughs> water. It's probably gonna be fun. It's fine. We're gonna do it. It is. There's so. local trails. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, yeah. Let's go learn some stuff. Let's eat mm -hmm. and learn. Come with us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I need coffee. Well, I forget the medical center is on this deck right off the forward elevator lobby. Hmm. Welcome to Garden Cafe. Ooh, washy washy sinks. Ooh, beverage station as soon as we enter because, um, yes, coffee is important. Pastries and hot cereals. Oh, cream of wheat, too. Nice little hot buffet breakfast line. All the usual culprits. Omelette station. Fruit. More omelet stations. There's milk, yogurt, cereals, more pastries, sticky buns. Ooh. Oh, then there's a section with French toast and pancakes, hash browns, biscuits, and gravy, ham. Silverware on the table, which is always awesome. Let's check out breakfast mode. Check out these Christmas trees as we pass them. All right, we're on a mission now for towels. Welcome to the outside. Towel, ex oh, it says exchange only. We ran into that on Prima as well. Well, we have signed the clipboard. We have Erwigia towels. They're not quite ready to go just yet, so we're gonna hang out around the upper area of the local. To learn about the history of Great Stirrup Key. They've got some slides flashing up on the screen. We also have an arcade over here. Didn't make it this far yesterday. Cute. Pool table. Get all the ducks you need right here. A dollar sixty-six for a duck. A dollar ninety-nine for a pressed penny. Two dollars and seventeen cents for a giant duck. All right, two seventeen. What's this guy doing? 166 to play Willy Wonka. All right, we're looking at 150 to 250 for most of your games, it looks like. Yeah, 266 basketball, $1.99. Bowling? How much is pool? $4.99. All right, back out of here, into the quiet and calm. Hey, that's where they keep their D's around the local. Map down there. All right, tender group one has been called. And they've got like ropes and things blocking off the path. They did have towels available on the way down. Welcome to the tender lobby. I got your little beach buggies, should you need them? Got the tunes pumping. Welcome back to the island. Well, they got the tree decorated. Yeah, back on board, 2.30. I have the sudden urge to shake it up, shake it up. Looks like they got the cabana meeting point over there. We are going straight out to the beach for now. Starbucks cart. So here at the Sculpture. Oh, it's a mermaid on a rock. Oh no, it's a mermaid on um like Poseidon's head. Oh yeah. Or something. I was looking up his nostrils, so it was very hard to determine what he was doing. You like these beaches? Yes. Trick, trick, testing the sound trick, system. Trick. There's a lighthouse with zip lining. Sea urchins. I think that's the is that the Bacardi bar over there? It's one of them. So now we're settled in. Let's do some basking. Fly, we're not trying to do any basking with you. Fly, get away. So Coco over there, lighthouse, zip lining, a billion chairs. We've actually found these kind of chairs. Oh, you can see where people's backs have rubbed the logos off. These have those. Calic chairs, oh yeah. 
And there's the bar. Yeah, they do have random click umbrellas around, which seem to be provided to some of these chairs. So D is in hoodie mode on the beach. It's cold. <laughs> it is Welcome to December. 7.59. Yep, yeah, 8 in the morning. <laughs> Early December, mid December, really. We're I pushing mean, I think mid it's now. Warm up. I will get in the waters. <laughs> Maybe not right this time. We're here till like 2 uh, two, 2 o'clock, I think, was last tender back. Back on board is 2 30. Oh, okay. The paper lied oh, to me then. No, I think you're right. <laughs> I thought we were here till 3.30. I don't I know. Everything the lies. Towel is warm though. Oh, there you go. Get you a little blanket. Dryer. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, looks like they got the old North Star up on Odyssey. People getting some views from the top of the world. Oh, I also see the word Bacardi over there. So we might be sitting in front of the tequila bar. I know there's a place that you can get tacos from over here, so I think that's why this in my brain should be tequila and tacos together. <laughs> Ooh, zip line excitement. Anyway, we have successfully made it to Great Stirrup <laughs> Key, bright and early in the morning. Very early. Woohoo! I'm excited for that. We did not have to wait half Me the too. day. Good times. It's pretty out here, though. It is. The sand is chilly. Yeah, we took our shoes off, put our feet <laughs> in the sand. When the sand is refreshing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess this one is fully branded a Kalik bar. Never mind. Oh, who do we happen to run into at the bar? Wow. Oh, Pina coladas. Yes, please. <laughs> That's some water. Would be good. Yeah, again, a few more people showing up now. Yeah, I think last time we were here, they had the Patron bar and the Bacardi bar. These are the best Pina coladas ever. I remember that from last time. I think, you know, they just have like a thing where they're like ready to go, which is great because the amount of people that probably come and drink these. True. Yeah. Um, but they're perfect. I love them. <laughs> but I don't drink pink waters very often. And now, attempted water mode. <laughs> I took my jacket off. I'm already cold. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, we made it down to the water's edge. The water temperature is surprisingly okay. Um, very sandy entry, which I remember. So no water shoes right now. Oh, clarity looks good. Yeah, the further you get in, the more you realize, you know, it, it's, it's a little chilly. I look great. Um, definitely been in colder water. All right, well, there's a lot of dark stuff out here. I know Hi. this particular beach is known for like a snorkel trail, I guess, or a sculpture garden type of thing. I think Dee saw a few of those last time we were here. Let's see, our strategy was if we drank a pina colada first and brought down our body temperature, then when we got in the water, we would feel more acclimated, like it would be closer to the temperature of our body. Yeah, is that how that works? Now we can get a peek over at the lighthouse. I know somewhere down that way, there's like a, an exclusive cove. I think it's like for spa guests or something like that. I don't know if you can buy day passes for it or not, but we're exploring the main public zones again today. doing some air snorkeling and some wandering and came across a stingray. I don't think we can see him from uh, too good here and I don't want to chase him down, but that's fun. Well, that was about the most fleeting footage ever, but hey, I saw him with my eye holes and that's what counts, yeah? I made a friend. See the balloon going up over there at Coco. You can almost smell those chicken sandwiches from here. I'm excited to check out some of the food options today because we didn't get to do that last time. But I think, assuming everything is open today, there is a taco option, there's the buffet, there is a barbecue option, and there is a something just called like a food truck. It's the Tropic Like It's Hot food truck. So we'll have to see what the heck we get up to today. Yeah, we'll let you know.
Ah, now that we're out here in the water and the sun has kind of gotten out of my eyes, I can see. So we have Bacardi Bar down there, Kalik Bar, and boom, Patron Bar. It still exists. So we have all three. There may be more than three. What have you found? A gift? <laughs> Put it up to our ear. We can hear the ocean. Part of it. It's working. Well, we have been in here for a few hours. Let's motivate out of this ocean. We've just come off the beach now. There's the snorkel center. We've got restrooms over here in the greeny bluey kind of building. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've come across a little hot dog stand. Well, there's where you pick your stuff up from the snorkel place. That would be the Patron bar over there. And I see in the distance a Baco Taco. Yum. I see signs for beef, chicken, and fish tacos. They do have some seating out here. You got a proper washi washi out here. That's cool. Oh, I love advisory tacos. Fresh beef. Chicken and fish. They're both beef. Okay. Oh, they must be out of advisory tacos. We've got all sorts of toppings. Corn, sour cream, guacamole. They've got some Cholula out here. Um, I ended up getting a fish. Peek in here. A chicken, if we can see that. A beef, some guacamole, and some corn. What'd you get extra? Some pickled onions? I think cabbage. Or, oh, cabbage. It looks good. I don't know. It looked pretty and healthy. Oops. I don't know. Fun fact, that corn is spicy. <laughs> anyway, tacos, they're okay. They're actually a little on the sweet side. Not did like not these that. Yeah, the sauce that they used for the chicken and the beef, it tasted kind of the same. Actually, you had a bean one as well. Yeah, it still had the sweet sauce though. Yeah. I mean, it, I can see how people like them. It's just not for me. It tends sweet almost a little bit more toward like a sloppy joe type mixture in my mind. And you are not a sloppy <laughs> joe girl. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's find some more fun stuff. Yeah. <gasps> All right, D might get a hot dog. So hot dog with mustard. Oh gosh. Oh, uh, whoops. I'm very simple. Okay. So hot dog with mustard. <laughs> now you're not allowed to record the actual eating of a hot dog on the internet for various reasons, but we'll get the report on how the hot dog is. So, okay. All right, hot dog is getting the seal of approval with just mustard. They had sweet relish, they had ketchup, but. Yeah, yeah, um, we're trying to avoid the sweet. It's very good. I think it's like an all beef dog. I didn't get much of the bun, so I'll try that. Okay. Oh, can't, can't, it's, it's, it's illegal. But it's okay. It's not bad, but the hot dog's better. <laughs> Yeah, we've come back to the main roundabout. I guess rather than going down the beach, you can actually go up here too. So there's the path back to the ship. This is what they call the entertainment zone. So Jumbie Beach Grill is the main buffet. Let's bypass that for now. I hear them doing line dance class down on the beach. That's kind of fun. Oh, we dipped in here because I thought maybe this was the barbecue, but that looks like a dessert zone. So let's bump back out. There's the zip line pavilion. Hey, we can get some nice peeks at the lighthouse from down here. Oh, hot dog cart on the beach. We made it down to the volleyball zone. They've got some swings, some more beaches down here that we didn't really get to. We've done it. At the other end of this beach, I see picnic tables, food trucks. So we have found Stir It Up Barbecue, the Lighthouse Beach Bar, and this little food truck, which I guess this is, it says Tiki, oh, something. Tiki Zoom Bar. So this is not a food truck. It looks like a mobile bar. I mean, maybe it's always parked here, but that's cute. So right here by the cabana area, there officially is the barbecue. Oh, let's start there. We've also got a hand washing station here. Cute little tiki trash can. Oh, this appears to be burgers, dogs, toppings. Let's see, potato salad, pasta salad, corn. Oh, they do have chicken and ribs down here just past the corn. Let's see some breads and desserts and fruits and things. Well, Dee has selected chicken, <laughs> corn, and a pear. <laughs> it's very nice. You know, we're trying to sort of pace ourselves as we go through the food tour of the island. I got to try the uh, sort of strange bean looking salad, potato salad, a cheeseburger, and a rib. <laughs> ha! Update. Pretty happy overall with the barbecue. The rib was real good. 
I think it might qualify as my second favorite cruise island rib that I've had. It was up there. It wasn't super, super warm, but it was good. The one surprise we got, though, is Dee was eating her corn, and she's like, I don't know if I like this. It tastes like cinnamon. And so I smelled it. it smells like cinnamon. Tasted it. it. Tastes like cinnamon. We've never thought to have cinnamon corn, but neither one of us is probably going uh, to, to have it. it oh, well, actually, it almost gives a, like, an horchata type vibe, because isn't that like corn, milk, cinnamon, that kind of thing. So it's almost like horchata corn, which you think would be good. And it's all right. But overall, we'll give it a thumbs up. Was your chicken good? Mm -hmm. Okay, right. chicken was good at least. The burger was solid. Um, it was about a medium, and I usually do go darker. I'll take a medium steak any day, but my burgers, I like a little medium well. It was good. Um, yeah. Now we just have to check out that food truck. How was your pair? Can you attest to the fact that... It's good. It's nice. a good pair. <laughs> I don't think you mess up a pair. <laughs> Come over now to check out the menu here at Traffic Lake is Hot, the food truck. They've got some cool looking stuff going. Ceviche, fish sandwiches. Of course, I had to get a ceviche so that Dee can evaluate that. <laughs> While on any island that has a chicken sandwich, I had to at least get, this is the Baja chicken sandwich. It is grilled chicken with cheese and whatnot. And a Bahamian, I think it was called, rum cake. Wow. <laughs> I don't have words for that ceviche, <clears throat> other than don't. Um, I It tastes fresh. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but whatever the dressing is that's on it, there's a weird bitterness in there and a flavor that just hit both of us the wrong way. We don't waste food. No, we're, <clears throat> we're not eating that ceviche. The uh, chicken sandwich was pretty good. The chicken was a little tough, but I mean, the flavors of the sandwich was good potato chips. I mean, how can you go wrong? Um, and the rum cake was okay. He wasn't a fan of it, but I, I did finish off the rum cake. Ceviche. Ceviche, <clears throat> no. Um, yeah. Well, now we're going to take the sidewalk path back here by the cabanas. Maybe take a pass by the buffet. I don't need another bite of food, but um, huh, if something looks good, I might have to... We'll have to tell you how it yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> this has been totally accurate nature noises by Jay. <laughs> hey, there's a little uh, putting green up here. Well, that is quite cute. And here's where you get your equipment. <laughs> well, it's a slight state of disarray right now. It looks like a sculpture. <laughs> it does. It looks like art. <laughs> All right, for research purposes, here we go. Oh, quite a few little sinks here at the buffet. I'm kind of just looking to. We've got all sorts of salads, dogs, burgers, there's onions and beans and chili and whatnot. So they do have like jerk chicken, there's rice, ribs. Oh yes, pizza coming up. There's fruit and then it looks like it starts repeating on the other side. All right, y'all, for the sake of science, I had to get a Hawaiian pizza. Now, ignore all that cheese over to the left. Uh, the buffet line and I had a fight where the, I mean, the cheese pull was amazing and it just didn't want to break, so. <gasps> I got you strawberry kiwi water. You found essence water. <laughs> nice, all right, well, we're gonna, um. You eat on the trash. Yeah, it's like being at uh, Epcot, Epcot at the food festival thing where you have to eat on the trash can lids because there's no places to eat, so. We'll just daintily perch up here. Now, I gotta say, I had already looked at that pizza and written it off in my brain but it was not bad it has that real thick like thick mouthful of cheese feel that i like the crust was okay and the taste was good so you know what i'm pleasantly surprised by that pizza now the essence of water it didn't really taste like anything but it was wet it was, water. Yeah. it was wet and i appreciated it Anyway, I think we're gonna get back on the ship because um, we're about an hour away from last tender. Yeah. Somewhere in that zone, so let's beat the rush, huh? Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. It's still like cafeteria grade pizza, you know what I mean? But I'm saying, I would eat another two pieces. Huh, but I'm full. <laughs> Goodbye, Ariel. Goodbye, Triton. Well, let's see, looks like folks are still just getting here. I mean, you know, they've got another good hour they can hang out, so might as well. Guys, we walked all this way. We realized we have to be at that building. Whoops, let's turn around. I was just following the herd. 
But hey, I learned a few things. The Starbucks cart has nitro cold brew on tap, and they were selling uh, cartons of water over there. So I learned something by walking that way. Ooh, they've been doing the face towels. They got water on the way out. So we have to show our ship card and our photo ID, and now we're gonna wander over here properly to a tender. and clean mode has ensued and we are getting ready to go out dude yeah. <sighs> right. just stop it just yeah, stop please. it so how was your day in great stir key overall pretty good yep so the weather ended up being beautiful mm -hmm. um, a little chilly still but nice uh, snorkeling was good like you could see everything in the water the fish just weren't super active um, but the statues are really cool wavy and nice <laughs> all right <laughs> Food overall, eh, we had some hit or miss on the yeah. food, but there were some solid things. They like have rib, like options. chicken, there is a lot yeah, of choices. Lots of and I didn't mind the tacos. You just have to go into it, at least if they use that recipe, knowing that it's a little sweet like a sloppy joe taco. That's a personal thing, yeah. yeah. Other people might so, completely dig it. <laughs> there were some good bites to be had. Yeah. Uh, now we're gonna head out. There's some stuff going on later. I'm not gonna commit to any of it because you never know what we're gonna do. Right. So let's go out. We know we're gonna eat dinner. Dinner, yeah, that's gonna happen. Yeah, and things. All right. Come on. <laughs> we're taking a closer peek at the medical center here. Oh, they've got like little dispenser machines in here for alcohol prep pads and antibiotics and band-aids. Let's head down to deck eight. There we have Onda. We've got the wine cellar bar. That's passing the whiskey bar just outside the cavern club. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Ooh, let's check out the Christmas tree. Here next to Sugarcane Mojito Bar. Well, let us examine some mojito options. Now, if you're not familiar with mojitos, it's where they put a salad in a glass <laughs> and mash it up and then put good stuff with it. So Dee loves mojitos I like salad. for that salad aspect. All right, let's look a little closer at these salad drinks. There we go. Dee is acting as lighting technician now because we were getting some terrible banding in here. So there we go. We're using the phone flashlight methodology. Um, we got a pineapple coconut mojito yeah. and a raspberry guava. Now, fun fact, they're actually not doing any mashing or muddling. So really the mint was put on top just kind of as a garnish. It was just pre-mixed. Out it came. Boom, boom. Now it is time to go get some food. <laughs> See how taste is looking this evening. Now, well, a 45 minute wait at Taste and Savor. She suggested we could hop up to Manhattan and see what their wait is, so why not? Yeah, this dining room is a little larger. It's the same menu at all three, so maybe this will go a little quicker. Well, welcome to the Manhattan Room officially. This is one of the three included dining rooms. It usually feels a little fancier in here, but it's much larger. There are appetizers for the evening. Some of those are the same ones we had yesterday, but the top section did kind of change. Classic entrees, which stays about the same the whole cruise. Today's featured entrees. And of course, wine. There's our bread selection. Now we've got some seedy looking ones down there. dinner. We've missed the first showtime. Dinner ran a little long, so we're going to wander and catch late showtime, hopefully. Let's jump up a level. Hey, there's a place we haven't been yet this cruise. Oh, I'm having escape flashbacks. What's going on in here? 
Whoa, it did drop about 10 degrees once we walked through that door. Oh, oh yeah, they got the piano over there. And all these little cozy nooks to hang out in. This feels just like where we used to hang out on the skate. They got the photo booth and everything. Cute. They have got snacks in here. Now granted you pay for those snacks, but hey, they got poke nachos. I am not hungry. No. Cocktails. There is the on tap page. A little shattered. Can we see that? Bottles and cans. Also five dollars for the photo booth. I'm not sure if you get one strip or two, but um, there's a whole bunch of people who have donated their photos to this establishment. Have y'all been here? Have you done this on this ship? Are you on this wall? Ooh, some tunes have kicked up here. We're gonna head out of District Brew House to see if we can catch the show for the evening. Oh, club time. Now that we are done with the men's club and the ladies club, we're gonna head into the theater for the Beatles tribute show. Oh yeah, it's kind of a one level style theater. No actual balcony or anything. Oh, we are ready for some Beatles invasion. Oh, there go the lights. We are proud to present to you a musical celebration of the Fat Ball. Please welcome on stage, the Beatles invasion. Can't be beat. Oh. Uh. Well, here just past the Cavern Club, which is Beatles appropriate, is the whiskey bar. Let's gaze down these whiskey laden menu offerings. Look at all that whiskey. Mm. And we were able to confirm that if you order something that is over the $15 drink limit, because we have, what is it called, the ultimate beverage package, you just pay the difference. So, good stuff. Well, what better way to follow up the whiskey bar than a little nighttime waterfronting? So this is just outside the Cavern Club, or Malting's Whiskey Bar. We can look at all that water action, windy action wandering down toward ocean blue. Yeah, they have telescopes to look out in, you know, the daytime, it probably works better, but that's cool. I like the waterfront, it's nice out here actually. Ooh, fun, okay. So Dolce Gelato and aft lobby and restrooms and cool couches. Like couch for 22. It hey. really is. That's huge. Party mode. Well, time to venture back inside. We've come back to the cabin to find our freestyle daily for tomorrow. Plus, I noticed that we are moving an hour ahead in time tonight. We're Ooh. losing an hour. <laughs> Good, Good night. night. It is almost the midnight, so we're being quiet. Oh, yeah, because that hour. Mm. Mm. It's all right. It's a CJ, so we can sleep. That's true. So, any last words before we close out today? I know we went to... Um, Great syrup game. Oh gosh, did we not even talk about that? No, no, we did. It was okay. awesome. Okay. Yeah. I was um, gonna say dinner. <laughs> dinner was good. It was yeah, a little slow, but well, but they had like some were really large tables. Yeah. Um, so the they mater, did the best they could. It was yeah. either Mater D or like a super super head waiter jumped in and was like taking um, drink orders and filling water and stuff like that. And so, dessert. She was awesome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and then we went to I guess the Beatles show. Mm -hmm. Really good. Which was cool. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. They played a lot of the classics and some that I didn't know at all, so oh. that was cool to hear. And um, then we just hung out on the waterfront after that, so. 
Really good. Now we're going to bed. Yeah. So tomorrow is a C day. Excited for it. We're going to mm -hmm. sleep in, y'all. I'm going to look at the schedule to see what there is to Oh, we might get up early and do stuff, y'all. Probably not. We're going to sleep in. <laughs> see y'all tomorrow. Bye. On the day. Yes. Good night. <laughs>